this is Nico here, and I'm going to be playing some of a demo for a game called The Edge of Allegoria. This is a Game Boy inspired RPG, and it's currently on Kickstarter seeking to get funding to release later in 2024 on Steam. So, if you're watching this, check the description below. I will have a link to the Kickstarter. And if you're watching this after the Kickstarter is already over and you want to help support this, there will also be a link to the uh, Steam page so that you can wishlist it, which also helps. So this, to my knowledge, is a more mature RPG. So... We're uh, just going to check out the opening scene here, and then we should be getting into it. I was interested in checking this out because the trailer and some of the screenshots and footage that I saw made it look really interesting. So we just got this opening scene. This is kind of auto-scrolling through. Alrighty. Well, we will put our name in. We are not Joe. And I am playing this on an Xbox controller, so this demo does have controller support. Now you need to name your best friend, which is the dog. That we will just leave as Jude. <laughs> oh wow, look at that. There's the uh, adult nature I was talking about. Got a bandana. You can master the bandana by taking hits in battle. Stat boost. It improves. Once the bandana is mastered, the stat boosts it provides will be permanently added. Interesting. All incomplete mastery will be lost if you fall in battle. Wash with similar colors in cold water. Do not bleach. Would you like to rest? No. Let's see, do we have to equip it? Okay, looks like it's already equipped. Okay. <laughs> it's a sink. Why are you trying to talk to a sink? This already feels like a game that's going to immediately have like a lot of personality to it. Almost kind of gives like... female in there. Um... Kind of gives me a little bit of like Earthbound vibes almost. A more mature Earthbound. Why don't you actually go do something with your life instead of being <laughs> rough? Even a video game calling me out like that? Bills and junk. It's always bills and junk. That it cannot be fr closer to the truth. That is always what is in the mail, is bills and junk. There's another chest. Let's see what we can steal this time. A dino nuggy. What does that do? Is that an item? That is so good. The, that dino nug is a healing item. I have a friend that loves those. Got a fishing rod. Just 
go beat up a rabbit or something, I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. And you can use its strike skill even if you have something different equipped. Just don't get knocked around too hard like you did last time you tried to master something. <laughs> now there is a streamer mode, I believe. I don't know if I could turn it on mid. Okay, I don't think so. So let's do this. Let's save. Because I'm making a video out of this. And you get the hint with the adult nature. I'm going to put streamer mode on and see if it's included in the demo. Let's try again just for the heck of it. Alright. Our dog? That's a big dog. Why is our dog so much bigger than us? Dog's a Goliath. Okay, so it seems like our dog is blocking us in. That's an interesting sign. Oh, getting into battle with a rabbit. So this is uh, very Pokemon-esque for the battling. Oh, he bit me. Bit me again. It's nibbling on me. Oh, leveled up. Mastered the fishing rod. Mastered the bana bandana. Found a tuft of fur. So, is there uh, materials? Can be sold in shops. Okay, so they're kind of like treasures, it looks like. Found honey. What does that do? Probably heals. 10 HP. Oh, there's no treasure. Pays to explore. Okay, I guess the streamer mode doesn't work in the demo based off of what I'm seeing. It's great that that's there. Oh, it's a mimic. More susceptible to poison. Took him down. Level up. Fills your health too when you level up. We got his tongue. What is that gonna do? Ah, just another treasure. Oh, 
orange sign. Looks like we're in another town. <laughs> okay, so he wants a goblin heart. So... I think it's... Oh, it's a pretty big map. Seems like it's up to you to... Keep track. Like, that seems like a side quest, but... Is this his wife? Oh wow, she's coming on to me. First time for everything. Just a shame it has to happen in a video game. This town is falling apart. There's a band of goblins that lives just north of here, and they keep sneaking in at night and stealing all of our stuff. If only there was someone that could stop them. Okay, so here's a shop. See if we can buy any goods. Some great places to sell off any items you've picked up on your travels. Shopkeepers are even happy to take all the junk you've collected off your hands all at once. Okay. So if I do sell junk. Well, that's cool, but you don't have to set it. So here's different weapons. Seems like the woodcutter's axe is the best for attack one crit. So let's buy that. Yes. And then equipment, three defense, leather boots. Let's go with the balance one, which is the gloves. Buy that. So I like that, uh, I like the mastery of the items boosting your stats, because that gives you incentive to try and get all the equipment in. <laughs> uh, into max it all out. So, I really like that aspect. Because a lot of the time in games like this, I'll be like, okay, I got what I think is the best equipment. So, I'm just going to use this the whole time, so this will kind of force me to swap around what I'm using. Like you're about to take on the wilds. I have some important tips for you to survive the dangers that lie ahead. Would you like to hear them? Sure, William. Did you know it allows you to use the wild swing skill in battle? Some battle skills have a chance of inflicting status effects when used on an opponent. Status effects can do things like slow your enemy down or even make them continue to take damage. What's even better is there are certain skills that can actually do bonus damage to an enemy with a status effect. If you're having trouble inflicting a status effect on your opponent, there are some skills for that too. These skills increase your odds to inflict a status effect. This is, um... Kind of a lot of stuff, you know, that we've seen in games before, but just explaining that it applies here. And that is... Okay, that's basically saying what I was saying. Use it wisely. Alright, let's go see if we can take these goblins out. I think this is a pretty meaty demo, so I'm probably not going to play the entire thing in this video. 
That way, uh, I just kind of show a sample, and if you want to play it yourself, you can do that. What is that? Is that a fox? Yep, that's a fox. Okay, so we have our strike still, but we also have our wild swing. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Oh, I'm bleeding. Damage received is increased. Still bleeding. Oh, I'm still, I'm still bleeding, huh? I don't think I have anything that will take that off. Status, bleeding. Wonder if that'll wear off or if I have to do something to get rid of that. More honey. There's our little faithful companion blocking more ways to go. Is this a goblin? It's a goblin. Punching me. Maybe if I level up, it'll take off the bleed. Since it heals you. I've got a goblin heart. Our chest over there. We'll grab this. Cheese. Chest over there. Another one up there, too. It's a squirrel. One ain't killed him. Woodcutter's axe mastered. So let's go get this. Maple syrup. Still bleeding. Kind of hope it stays until I level up. I'm curious if it'll go away. Oh, this is gonna be another mimic. This could be bad. These hit hard. More kill should kill him. Okay, I leveled up. So did that take bleed off? Yep. So a level up is like a full heal. And cleanse, I guess you can call it. This reminds me a lot of RPGs I played when I was a kid, like on the Game Boy and the NES. Gives like that type of vibe in a good way. That's a, that's a good thing. Like the original Dragon Quest, or Dragon Warrior, as it was originally called in America. On the demo version. Looks like it'll have some blockers, progression blockers that you earn new items to progress. Goblin heart. something really weak. It's not like, oh, this is a waste of time. It just takes a few seconds, one hit kill, and then uh, go about your business. Let's see what some of these items do that I've found. <sighs> Cheese. Oh, they're all healing items. Mushroom. Heal 100% but will cause madness after a certain amount of time. Oh, there you go. Bandage to stop bleeding. Drumstick heals. This looks like the first dungeon.
combos. I don't think I can walk over the bones or the rocks. Nope. That's a lot of loot over there. Three chests. Oh, there's a lot of chests in here. Long sword. Sure. I don't know what its stats are, but I don't have any mastery for it, and Also made him bleed. Chomp. So it seems like if I hit him with that and then hit him with the other attack, that probably would have been better. Sandwich. Antidote. It's almost a shame in a way that this is uh, just like the original Game Boy Color palette, just because I, I find something really appealing about the Game Boy Color style palette, just having that added color. Uh, not yet, because we're not done with the gloves. It's cool that it shows you your mastery, that way you know. You don't have to, like, go check and manually. You can kind of tell that was going to be a mimic because it was blocking the path to that other chest that was down in that corner. Wow, he stole $60 from me. Let's try that. Oh my god, he's stealing all my money. Do I get it back? Oof. I should probably heal for the first time. Ah, it doesn't tell you how much they heal for. Ah. I wish it told you on the side there. I think there's room on the right for it to tell you. We'll just use the Dino Nug. Oh wow. Good thing I healed. Four hits. Oh, he's not dead yet. Flip me off. Got him though. That was a tough one. Man, look at that mastery, huh? Let's see. Yeah, the long sword's not as good as the woodcutter's axe. So we'll go back to that because we have all our weapons mastered. And then four defense, four speed, zero agility. So we'll go with the iron helmet now. Try and finish that off. Grab this. Bottle of alcohol. So, is the bottle of alcohol... Is that gonna be like a status ailment? Or like a drinking alcohol? Okay, it's, dr it's drinking alcohol. Is this a boss? kind of looks like a boss, so let's uh, save before we fight in case we die. And then we'll talk to this dude. Oh, he's the Goblin King. You all think you can take what you want and leave nothing for the rest of us. Hoard its resources, then expect everyone to just accept it. And then you have the audacity to complain when someone does the same to you. We were here first, you entitled. That being said, there's something different about you, isn't there? You're not like the rest of them. You're much worse. Yes, I see it now. Foolishly going through the motions. 
ignorant to the consequences of your actions, blinded by your desire to make something of yourself. You reek of wasted potential. Okay, this game is just... Gotta stop calling me out. Just gotta stop. Suppose you fancy yourself as some kind of hero as well. To whom are you a hero? Problem they can't solve themselves? You're no hero. You're an aimless little person taking directions from narcissists. A puppet. Once I'm through with you, we're going to that village of yours and killing every last one of you. You'll suffer as we have for so long. It's time you humans finally get what's coming to you. Alright, so our, this is our first boss fight. He's a level 4. So, if we do this... That... Oh, he hit me first. Now we can hit him with the harder attack, and it should do more damage, because he's bleeding. Wow, that took a big chunk off. Yeah, so there's a nice strategy to the uh, gameplay. Uh, should I heal? Probably. Eh, he wasn't gonna kill me there, but that's okay. Better safe than sorry. Oh! Took him down. 20 XP and recovered 2 HP. Took his head. Cutscene here. You see a young goblin kneeling before a mysterious, shadowy figure. A deal is struck, and the goblin is made into a king in exchange for his loyalty to the ominous darkness. Okay. Here's our dog. Is that fat? We got fast travel now? So. So if we go to the map. Oh, okay. I think it's just the. Yeah, it's the locations. So let's go here, right? And just for the sake of it, I think there was a side quest here, right? Okay, yeah, so, cool. So, I think you gotta be careful with your junk, that if something's wanted, you don't accidentally sell it. So, we can... I'm actually gonna just save it here. There is more demo content, but I really enjoying this and I highly suggest that if you're watching this video you check it out for yourself I will post a link in the description to the Kickstarter which is only available at the time of posting this video for a few more days and then also um, I will have a link to the Steam page for this because as of right now it's only going to be coming to Steam and it if for some reason it, you know, reaches its goal, hopefully it gets ported to consoles, but if the Kickstarter's over, just go ahead and wish list it. Surprising, you might be surprised to, that how much that actually helps uh, smaller indies with visibility. So just taking, doing something that takes just a few seconds and clicking that, that wish list button does go a long way in helping them out. So... Uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope this game interests you and that you uh, support it in some way. I'll have links to everything in the description. And if you're not already subscribed, please click the subscribe button. I cover a lot of different indie game content. And until next time, I hope you have a good one.